This one? <laughs> Hey, hey now. <laughs> We're back. Hey, it man. feels like I haven't been on on here in like six days. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's been it's been a weird week, man. It has. It's been really just bizarre and, and uh and everything, but that's that's okay. Hey everybody, this is Johnny Bean and Jay Hannon. Hey now. And you hey now. you are watching Talking Van Halen. This is, where, this is where we talk about all things Van Halen. We love it all. Um, but if you like one over the other, let us know in the comments in the live chat. Um, you can text us. There's a phone number right down there, 415-952-3263. You can text in uh selfies while watching these videos um stuff anything you want to talk about anything van halen related guitars um you know send them send them on in yeah and let's see today is uh well, actually it's 8 10 p.m eastern time 5 10 pacific time on april 23rd 2021 and you guys are watching us most of you are watching us here on youtube where we have channel members. You can become a channel member. Click the join button below. And the top tier of the channel memberships is Charles Green, Wayno, Joe Christian, Michael B, Thomas Santiago, Music Therapy Laz, Bent Tom, The Chad, James Gum, David Shagamori, Michael Smith, Stephen Franklin, Dan Halen. Oh, I, mi I missed the captain. The captain, Michael the Smith. Captain the captain, Michael Smith. <laughs> Stephen Franklin, Dan Halen, John Moronic, Jim Ray Hawkins, Mike Neese, and Steve Carmichael. Steve Carmichael! Oh, my goodness. That's the top tier of channel membership here on YouTube. And if, again, again, if you'd like to become a channel member, click that join button. You get uh, extra videos. Actually, I did an unboxing video last night for channel members. Um, so only like, you know, a select few saw it and know exactly what it was. It was it was pretty weird. So so let me ask you, Johnny, before before mm -hmm. you keep moving here, um, when you do when there when there's a when they're a channel member, when you're a channel member and you get those select videos, like when they go to your two you two can we start over? Hit the hit the music. <laughs> when they go to your channel. Do extra videos that like hi are highlighted differently or colored differently for the channel members, members and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. there's a playlist. Actually, I think everybody sees the playlist, but only the members have access to those. Ah, oh, um, so it's like a little under lock and key type of thing. And they get an alert to those videos, and they get like like the the community tab on the channel here. You know, only they see those posts. Gotcha. So. And Michael B, the Frankie was not properly intonated. You want you want to talk about that? Does he mean just sure. properly tuned, like stand, like normal? If you were to just set, hook your guitar up to a tuner and tune it, is he is he kind of referring to Eddie had a couple of the strings, a few cents this way, a few cents that way? Is that what he's talking about? Probably. Okay. All right. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, we we can we can talk about that intonated. He's talking about the intonation of the bridge. Um, if you look at a, uh, do I have one sitting here? If you look at a, like let's say like a, like a Floyd Rose. Here I'll pull up a. Uh, actually, I, I I just posted a picture earlier. Okay, this is blurry, so you can't really. Yeah, you can't you can't see it. you can't see it. Um, 
but each saddle on on the uh, on the bridge has to be a certain distance. Mm-hmm. You know, that that's what intonation is. And and Michael B is saying that the the intonation on the Frankenstein was slightly uh, slightly uh, out of intonation, I guess. Oh, I didn't. I never knew that. Because obviously the reason for intonating a guitar is so that it's in tune all the way up the fretboard. So yeah, yeah. So playing, you so you, yeah. so you can play like 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 open chords and and like bar chords up the neck. Yeah, and and you want it all to be in, in tune. Yep. So right if you neck? play if you play a note here, you want it to be in tune. <laughs> yeah, you want you want the open the open strings and the open harmonics at the twelfth fret to be the exact same as fretted notes on the twelfth fret. Yeah, there you, you want it to be exactly the same. And if they're not, you're going to have problems with 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 tuning up and down the uh, up and down the neck. Yeah. So, but you know the the, the Frankenstein guitar is uh, we all know the. Uh, probably the greatest rock guitar in, in, in rock history. And yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's very possible that, that it wasn't always totally in tune, but Eddie had his ways of, of, of ha- making it to in tune. Yeah. You know? Right. And think about it. I mean, that guitar was, wasn't, it didn't have a Floyd Rose on it. You know, originally, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So no, they, you know, they had to route that thing out, put it in there, and you know, yeah, yeah. Michael B, thank you so much. Oh, by the way, that's a great segue to uh, any super chats, such as Michael B's form ninety nine here, will change the color of my lights. And as you can see, when we started, those lights were were regular. You know. Clear, I guess, would be the, the, the color. <laughs> Clear, <laughs> <laughs> and they they turned green because the the four ninety nine tier of Super Chat is green. So mm-hmm. Michael B, thank you so much. And that green's pretty close, man. I'm 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 impressed. That's a pretty close <laughs> green to the, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Is yeah, this, that's pretty good. This, I think this is his new place right here. Look at this. Feels that heat coming off the computer. <laughs> That's Ned, everybody. There you are. So, so yes, Michael B. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then let's also say uh, we're live on Facebook. We're actually, here we go. We're live on Johnny Bean TV Facebook page. And uh, here, let me turn this off. No rating yet? Come on. Somebody rate it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we need. Uh, I'm not logged in. Dang it! For some reason, I got I, I got logged out, and so I, I don't have the. Uh, it'll take me a second to get logged in. Um, we are live on Johnny Bean TV Facebook page as well, where you can you can uh, chat along with us, and I, I can see your your uh, your chats within here, like Glenn the Furman. Hey. Dude, hey now, Glenn LaFerman. <laughs> He's over there. Glenn is awesome, you guys. If I if I can log in, I can actually. Is Nightbot here? Is he? Yeah, he just posted. Hey, the new Gizmachi album. Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> right on cue, buddy. Okay. Hey, God, sorry. I, I got to log this, in. This is two weeks in a row. Two it's, weeks in a row where we go live and you're fiddling over there. Ah, uh, forget it. Dang it. <laughs> it's hey, Sandra. We got we got some cool stuff for you guys tonight. We got a, an unboxing from Winnie Lou. Oh, uh, which I got it two days ago, and I've been just dying to open this effing thing. So I'm excited awesome. for tonight. Um, I've got an, go I've got an unboxing from Mike Nice. Ooh. Right here from Van Halen store. Thank you, Mike. Mm-hmm. And uh, I really got to try to log in because I'm like, 
for All right, how about this, Johnny? Before we get started in the music news, Van Halen stuff, Wolfgang Van Halen stuff, because he just released another song today. Mm -hmm. You want to isolate me, and I'll show off one of our um, awesome sponsors, Colonel's Popcorn. While you're doing that, I got a package yesterday from Colonel's, and I can't begin to tell you how in how, how much trouble my wife is in. <laughs> Because she's not going to recognize me in a few weeks. I'll tell you that right now. Uh-oh. So, okay. So, go ahead. Go. so, first off, we got the, the regular box, right? And I think I took all my information off of there. So, I already, we already dove into everything. We got the Chicago mix, the cheddar with the caramel, caramel, whatever you want to say. I, we want, I, I wanted to eat a lot of this last night, but I was like, I can't bring a quarter of a bag on the show to show it off. So, I waited. So, we got that. We got... The black pepper and something. My wife really loves this one. It's pretty good. I didn't think I'd like it. It's actually pretty decent. Oh, wow. Yeah, black pepper and something. Cheese or whatever. We obviously got the fire popcorn. Oh, yeah, that stuff's really good. Yeah. It's pretty it's got a got some pretty uh pretty good hotness to it. Um we got the regular kind of this is with coconut oil and sea salt very tasty very good and then i got some we got some candy we got those we got the sour things we got some gumballs the bag busted open because it was so fat and then <laughs> and then to top it all off underneath all of that in the box those, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I was wondering why the box was so heavy, right? Well, underneath all the popcorn was this. Can you read that? Oh, my. Ten pounds. Ten pounds? Of, ten pounds of milk chocolate cashews. Let me. Now, I've already I've already dug into this, so you got you to gotta look at this. Ready? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I probably already ate about two pounds of them. So there you go. That's Colonel's popcorn, everybody. The best popcorn on uh, – it's not even arguable. If, you, if you're in the chat or if you're watching this and you'll be like, oh, so-and-so – no, you're wrong. Colonel's – Oh, no, I shouldn't have showed that, huh? Don't give away the secret of where they get the cashews from. There's no name on here, is there? Well, whatever. <laughs> I just got a warning from my wife downstairs. Don't uh -oh. give away the secret. The best shit on the planet. That's all there is to it. So that's kernels for you. And uh, whatever. I'm getting, I'm getting yelled at big time now. My, my text messages are going crazy. So Colonel's, everybody, if you order from Colonel's right before the final screen to pay, there's a little message box or note box put that you either know Johnny or myself, you're a fan of the show, whatever, and you'll get some extra goodies thrown in. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Very cool. So if you guys don't recognize me uh, tomorrow night or next week, you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We're, we're still on Facebook, right? I don't oh, know. I, are we? I see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got a warning on, uh, as you're getting a warning there, I'm getting a warning here saying that we lost the Facebook feed, but I don't think we did. Well, why would it, why would it tell you that? Too many cashews? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, speaking wow. of speaking of Facebook, you live. There we are. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Speaking of Facebook, we're also live in the Van Halen 1974 to 2020 Facebook group, where we are very, very. Uh, what's the word? We're very close to fifty thousand members. It's it's incredible how, how how 
large that the group is uh, becoming. Uh, so thank you, everybody, and make sure to join. Join the group if you're not in there. See here, here's uh, there's the link right there. Hopefully, and it's great. And actually, we we have something that we'll talk about. Uh, actually, we we can. Do you want to do that right now, or do you do you yeah. want to talk about Wolfgang's? What well, whatever you want, dude. His you new song. It, we'll go with it. Okay. All right. We'll talk about uh, Wolfgang Van Halen. Of course, he's got his band uh, Mammoth WVH. He's got it. He he released a new a new song today called Feel, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it was a lyric video, and I thought it was great. I I think, I think every song he's putting out is just better and better, and it's just uh, I'm just really proud of of what he's doing, and I'm just so thankful that he's not jumping around with the striped guitar, you know. <laughs> Because that's that's the last thing that that uh, you know, like Frank Sinatra. You know, he has a son, Frank Sinatra Jr. that looks just like him, sings his songs. You know, and there's been a, a number number of people, yes. you know, that have gone on to do, you know, the same business as their 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 parent parents, and like they're like, it's the exact same thing. Yeah, and it's. It's just it's just great that that Wolfgang is 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 not doing that because that just that just wouldn't 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 be right, you know. Yeah, I that, don't the, think the new song is is there's some slick drum stuff in it. I kind of dug it, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I didn't see the lyric video. I just I just listened to the song on Spotify. So, but I'll check out mm -hmm. the lyric video either later tonight or tomorrow or something. <laughs> Cool. What'd you guys in the chat? What'd you guys think of the uh, the song? Um, I I, I saw well, was it on Twitter, Instagram, somewhere? You know, because when when you, you you're connected with you know you have so and so Facebook friends, so and so Instagram connection. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll go to the same posts, and the ones that at the top are the ones of people that you already know. Yeah. Do, do you ever see that? Mm-hmm. So so I see like uh, like our friend um, Anthony uh, Sajazi. I see yeah. him like like posting stuff and uh, you know positive 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 stuff and and uh, it's it's just uh, it's it's just it's just great. Yeah, it's cool. You know, and and you're right. The fact that I know we've we've mentioned this before, but just the fact that he is doing, and I'm glad he's doing heavier music. You know, heavy, not you know, hard rock slash heavy stuff, because mm -hmm. I'm a fan of that type of stuff. So I am glad that he's doing that style, or a heavy style of music. Um, but at the same time, like you said, he's not trying to do anything. Eddie Van Halen, Van Halen. He's like you said, the striped guitars and all this stuff. Which, of course, I mean, it'll be cool to you know see that every once in a while pop up on stage or something. But yeah, I mean, he's he's doing his own thing, and and the fact that there are some people. You know that just for some weird reason, you know, it, it, I I just don't understand that that type of feeling. Like I'm from the the mindset of if you don't like something, don't listen to it. You know, just don't even waste the energy. You know, spewing out negativity about it. Just move on to something else. Listen to what you want to listen to. Listen to what you like. If you mm -hmm. don't dig it, you don't have to listen to it. You know. Mm -hmm. Don't hate on the kid for for doing his own thing and having his own career. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, we we are you know on this thing called the internet, where everybody, you know, I know is, is on there, and you know everybody, and there's a lot of people they don't hold back. They're just like, they'll say whatever, they don't care, you know. A lot of times they have fake funny names. <laughs> <laughs> you know, their avatars are kind of strange. You know, I get a lot of those. Um, but, you know, it's, it, it, you know, it is what it is. And, and if anything, you know, anything, if, if anything, you know, this band, you know, called Van Halen, it's, it's just a band that we all love. We all, most of us grew up on and it's just amazing 
just the the power of of that of that that band cool. you know and now we have a new generation you know wolfgang is a van halen he is the next generation of van halen music i mean even though it's not you know it's 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 different yeah. but it's still it it is what it is and you know I myself, I'm very proud of, of what he's doing. You know, I remember the day, you know, well, I'm 29. He's <laughs> he's like 29 or th so. So we're about the same age. Although I do remember the day he was born. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so he was born I, a year before you and you remember when he was born. <laughs> yeah. So so uh, you know, all through the years we've seen, you know, we've seen him basically, you know, grow up, you know. And and it was always, oh, one day, you know, he's going to be making his own music. He's going to carry on the tradition, the tr tradition of, of the name Van Halen. Mm -hmm. And here we are now today. And, you know, thankfully, you know, we've we have the Internet. The Internet has since been invented. And, and, and so we have, you know, a lot of weirdos out there that like to say whatever they want. And and, um, you know. <laughs> well, but the, the best thing about the internet is everybody has a voice the worst thing about the internet is everybody has a voice so yeah you take yeah. the good with the bad yeah yeah but uh you know, with all that said we'd like to thank everybody that watches these shows whether you like us or not you know we're <laughs> glad you're here and make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe okay uh false flag thank you so much wolfie carries himself with such class yeah yeah he's he's i mean he, he's just he's great it's i mean anthony hey man hey now oh, yeah. hey 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 now yeah yeah so we're, we're live on facebook johnny bean tv um well, I remember when when I saw or when Jeannie and I saw Van Halen, the reunion tour in 04 at the uh, the Meadowlands. Mm -hmm. When Wolfgang came out, you know, to play with his dad on stage, it was you know I think he was well, what would that have been? How many years ago? So he was about sixteen or something, right? Does that make sense? Fourteen, For fifteen, something like that. Two thousand four. Yeah. Thirteen. Third, to whatever, yeah, whatever it was. Well, I'm terrible. Right. Well, obviously, both of us are terrible in math. John Biel. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think John Biel's good at good in math either. Um, <laughs> and it was just a cool thing, you know. And obviously, now, like being a parent, I kind of like it. it looking at that, looking back at that, like it, it hits me more now than it did then. I, you know, back then I was like, oh, cool, that's Wolfgang on stage with him, you know, playing with his dad. But now I look at it the other way, you know, he's Eddie was playing with his son and that that's, you know, that's the cool part about it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And yeah, and a lot of people say, you know, that we wouldn't have got those last few tours if it wasn't for Wolfgang. Mm hmm. So. That's just it's incredible. And Randy Price, Wolf. OK, he's 30. Okay, yeah, so, he so, he's, was, so he was uh, what, 14. OK, Jesus. 13, 14. And he's now he's older than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, thank you so much, man. Um huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm reading, I'm reading Anthony's uh comments. He did he, he's talking about um uh oh, he's talking about nerd Halen doing doing a video of of the uh the song push comes to shove doing the solo oh Same yeah spot caleb, on. Caleb goes, uh, i saw that yeah caleb goes that. direct man he goes uh i think he records his stuff in like garage band or something too doesn't he john biel <laughs> actually he's in he's in the chat i saw his name nerd halen <laughs> what do you yeah, what, what do you use he said best dressed and that's right there you go but caleb I know you can't see it from here, but your uh, crotch is getting a little crackety in there. <laughs> it's starting to uh... wait, wait. Let's let's do something fun with this one now. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. There we go. What's happening to the shirt? 
<laughs> too many, too many chocolate cashews. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> there we go. I like that. Dude, hey, <laughs> 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 There it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, Sandra. Oh, we didn't read names. We got we got 90 watching us. 90. 90. Thank you so much. Yeah, leave it leave a thumbs up and a like and share these videos, please. Please. I've been doing this show for 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> Please Johnny's share these. Doing, Johnny's been doing them before the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Please share these videos on Facebook. If you're watching this on Facebook, click the share button. If you're watching this on on YouTube, you can share these videos out to Twitter. You know, tweet tweet out these videos. You know, include me at Johnny Bean. I'll retweet you. But please tag your friends in this stuff. Leave comments below on playback because that's something I have to remember. Is that. Uh, you know, these videos get thousands more hits later on. Thousands. You're thousands the lucky. You're, you're the. Hits. You're the lucky ninety that are actually watching it live, and we we appreciate you guys. Hey, there's something about watching these shows live. I remember when I was a viewer, it was cool watching them live instead of you know catching up on them, catching up. I understand people have busy stuff going on. I get it. I understand that. But there mm -hmm. is something cool about watching it live. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Um, Hey, CK just gave me an idea. He goes, Jay, in 04, you lived in New Jersey. So before I get to the roll call, yes, I lived in New Jersey. No, I lived in New York in, in 04. Um, everybody in the chat, instead of telling us where you live now, tell us where you lived in 2004. If it's the same place, that's fine. Same place. Tell us in the chat before we get to the roll call where you lived in 2004. There, I just did. And then we'll get the uh, we'll get the roll call rolling. Okay, R two R three locking nut says Uranus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Atlanta, Georgia, North Carolina, with Jessica Alba. Yeah, man. Back then, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Seattle in 04. Carol Hatcher, who's my mother in law, who lives right down the street, Newburgh, New York. What's that? Pet Petaluma, California, Mark Graves. Oh, you're in Petaluma. Uh, was, maybe is still. Oh, actually, in 2003, I did a live. Uh, my band did like a live, like uh, cable access TV show in Petaluma. <laughs> yeah, remember those, man? Actually, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we did a cable. That was like the first time ever. You know, like one of our first gigs ever for cable yeah. access yeah and we th we were telling because we were still in high school and then we thought it was like it might as well have been madison square garden <laughs> we were so pumped about it <laughs> oh it was cool newberg new york boner jams uh boner jams got a new guitar and another one is on the way so i believe wow. wednesday, wednesday metal wednesday coming up we will have two one of them, I think, is getting delivered Wednesday, so we'll have one unboxing and then another new guitar to show off. No way. Yep. Brian Gaylor, West Virginia. I knew that. Uh, he's a, a friend of the Byzantine boys. Um, cool. All right. So Morristown, New Jersey. All right. Let me get to the roll call since we have enough people commenting now. Yeah, here we go. Andrew Saviors, Boner Jams, Brian Gaylor, Browns fan. CK can't drive 55. Uh, Carol Hatcher, Cobra Kai Platoon, who is awesome. Uh, Crazy Cook 678. Danny McMullen, Fruitcake Tony. Hey, Tony. Halface, Hip Metal Works, James Gum, Janice Lala, Jesus Repsme, Johnny <laughs> Bean, Kurt 5150, Kyle Pinkerton, Linny Lou. Going to have an unboxing from Linny in a few minutes. Um, oh, Jessica, B and J Cat, Mark Graves, Michael B, Mike Neese, Mr. Hellstorm 74, Miles Taylor, Nerd Alien, Nightbot, Quentin James, R2R3 Locking Nut, Randy Price, Ronald Henry, Sandra Picorni, OO Picorni, 
Stephen Franklin, the Chad, my friend, the Chad. What's up, dude? Thomas Santiago, Tubin in and in one, and Vistalite 1972. And I thought I saw Cameron Brown in here before, but I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else watching see when there's a butt of people in the chat commenting you go a little faster you know when you do them early in the show and not everybody's commented yet not everybody's in here you try to yeah. read them a little slower so you kind of you know you drag it on we're at a hundred total watching us right now awesome let's keep it going 101 i got the double <laughs> I, I need a new one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my what God. am I, stupid? Yes. Jeff K is here. He just he just showed up. Hey, hey Tony. Hey, hey now. Man. Welcome. Oh, shout out from Texas. Hey. Cool. Right on, man. All right, so we'll do an unboxing at like, what, 9 o'clock? Or do you want to start with one now? You want to want to do one now, or you want to wait a few? Uh, when you say nine o'clock, you're talking Eastern time. Yeah, if we're talking your time, we're going to be here a mighty long time tonight. Yeah, because for me, that's like another like three hours. And Mancuda's not here, so we're not going that long, right? Oh, thank goodness! No, <laughs> that, that reminds me. That reminds me. Exactly at ten o'clock Eastern, um, I'm sending you guys over to to a, a premiere. Hopefully, Nightbot has has the uh, the video. Was that the, was that the right one? Yeah, there it is. So, you guys, make sure to stay tuned after the show. Okay. Thing is, you don't even have to go anywhere. Once the show is over, once I hit end, this video will automatically turn into another video <gasps> here on YouTube. What? Yeah, yeah. So here on YouTube. At 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 Pacific, 9 o'clock Central, right? <laughs> Something. Something like that. Make sure to keep it right here. And again, this is for our YouTube viewers. On Facebook, this won't happen. The video will just morph into the next video, which is great. Um, but, so make sure to stay tuned here. And you're going to see, it's just a quick little video I shot at Guitar Center in San Jose with the new 5150 Series Deluxe Poplar Burl Aqua Burst. Cool. I actually got to, well, I didn't actually play it, but I, I held it. I showed it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure to stay here on YouTube for that. And it'll be in... Uh, uh, Five, four, eight, six. An hour and 19 eight. minutes. An hour and 19 minutes from now. Thank you. Well, Sandra wants an unboxing. Cool. All right, so one person wants an unboxing. Cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, StreamYard, what are you doing? Now they're telling me they lost signal to the Van Halen group. Oh, no. Well, they're, they're, your uh, audio every once in a while is glitching. I don't know if it's... There might be an issue with... Uh, Maybe a strip stream road issue. Okay, yeah, I can't tell, but man. Okay, all right. Do you want to use do yours or mine? Because I I've got one too. Do you know what yours is? Yes, <laughs> I know what mine is too. Odds and evens. One, two, three. <laughs> um, <laughs> is Mike Neeson here? I s thought I saw his name before. Right, Mike Neeson sent this to me. Who sent yours to you? Lenny Lou. She's here. All right. So we need to have them arm wrestle. Oh. Or something. Okay. Smell. <laughs> Lenny Lou is telling me to smell the box. <laughs> Mike Nace, are you here? If he tells you to smell the envelope. <laughs> oh, there he is. All right. We got Mike Nace and Len Lenny Lou both in the chat. Okay. We're going to have them decide who goes first. Okay. Okay. So how should we, how should we do that? Rock, paper, scissors? Should we do or it? Or odds and, odds and evens? How do you, how how do, you do, do that? that? How do you do that? I don't know. Well, we do. We would do it. Right? So so I if you choose odds, we both throw like a one or a two down. And then whatever it ends up, 
right? Isn't that how that works? I have no idea. All right, let's do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> well, I, we should have them do rock, paper, yeah, yeah. scissors okay. in the chat. Yeah, that's a better idea. So between... Oh, we should have the entire chat do rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, but then how will we find out who wins? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So at the bell, at when you hear this, <laughs> we want Mike Neese and Lenny Lou to both type either rock, paper, or scissors in the chat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. You got that? So Mike Neese and Lenny Lou and Mary, type in your chat. Oh. Rock, paper, or scissors. Okay, Mike needs to paper. Okay. Well, now Lenny Lou has a chance to... I mean, that was too early. <laughs> <laughs> All right. she, just, she just put Mike Neese in her will. Oh. They have their own deal going on behind the scenes, too. I guess them. so. I saw it in the, in the Discord. They've got something going on. Well, paper covers rock, so Mike Neese won. So who, who goes first, then? Mike's right. You open up Mike's. Okay. First? okay. 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 If he won, then I go first. Okay. This this is from Mike Nice. Mike Nice, thank you so much. <laughs> now I can now I can do the the, the whatever it's called. <laughs> forgot to order the 5151s damn it <laughs> mike nice dude thank you so much we've got a pack of the 5150 uh guitar picks and a pack of the the shark guitar picks <laughs> thank you thank you mike nice very thank cool. you man does it say the exact same thing on the back the packages yeah no, no. Oh, it doesn't I mean, really. No, the, the 5150 talks about 5150. The shark talks about the shark. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, they're different. That's really cool. They're different. Awesome, Mike. Mike, Very thank nice. you. Thank you so much, man. I, I wow. And yeah, StreamYard is really acting bizarre today, man. Well, as long as the, the feed stays up on YouTube, right? We should be good. Yeah, yeah. As long as YouTube is still here, that's, I mean. Yeah. Dude, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe I'll order them now. <laughs> well, make sure you order them from Van Halen store, because yes. if you order them from Sweetwater, you'll never get them. <laughs> I ordered I ordered two packs of these on Streetwater three months ago, and they still haven't shown up. Well, to be fair, Sweetwater might not have gotten them yet. No, but they told me they told me that they uh, would get them in three weeks. I understand that, but if you just call them and ask them. They still might not have gotten them, you know. Yeah, they they called me actually. Um, was it was it Monday? Or last Monday, I don't know. They called me and, and left and left a message. And you haven't called them back, huh? No. Did they tell you what they about the? What, did they say something? Yeah, they did. I, I, I'm gonna have to re-listen to that because I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy when they left the message. Oh Jesus! <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to listen to it. Um, but. Dude, Mike Neese, thank you so much, man. Thank you for all your support, dude. Mike Neese has just been just amazing. 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 Mike Neese. <laughs> call him right now, actually. Call, call him right now. Tubinen says call him right now from the shop. I should call him? Yeah. Where are my picks? Well, they're, they're East Coast, right? No, they're uh, in Indiana, in right, Indiana. So they're like, no, that's yeah, East, well, that's East Coast. Well, they're sent. They're they're not Central Time, right? They're regular East Coast time or Eastern Indiana time. Is, Indiana is the same as you. Okay. 
Yeah. Fort Wayne, how face says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Randy Price. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I've had great luck with Sweetwater. They have been nothing but spectacular with me. So I'm not going to say anything <laughs> negative at all. But no, they really have, man. Any And everybody knows, I mean, you know, my middle name should be Send It Back. <laughs> I've sent back more guitars to Sweetwater than I have kept from them. And they've never given me any problem at all. They've been nothing but awesome. So right mm -hmm. on Sweetwater. That's cool. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, I know I know they're great. I think I ordered something from them uh several years back. You're um, still waiting for it. <laughs> I'd forgotten about it. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Yeah. By the way, who, Facebook user, I'm assuming you're watching from the Van Halen group. Is the feed in there okay? Did the video shut off a couple times or has it been fine? Because because uh StreamYard is telling me that they lost uh the feed twice. Hopefully that's not the case. But hey, Randy Price, if if you uh, if you don't like your rep, call up and ask for Jeff Law or Brett Moore and tell them that uh, Jason Hannon sent you or rec <laughs> recommended them as uh, as your rep or whatever. What's his name? I, I should write him down too. I should get him too. Jeff Law, but his Jeff's assistant because Jeff has been there since the inception of Sweetwater. Like he was the first sales rep. Mm -hmm. It virtually started the company with uh, who's uh, the owner? I forget the owner's name, but Jeff was there right from the get go, and Brett Moore is is uh, Jeff's assistant, and they're both friggin' awesome. But anybody I've ever spoken oh. to at Sweetwater has been very helpful and, and super cool. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I I know it's not their it's not it's not their fault. Yeah, you know, that that. But I don't I don't understand why the picks took oh, that or. Are still because I I ordered them the day they were were released, yeah, literally, and they told me, huh, we were having tr problems streaming the. F okay, we just lost the Van Halen feed. Son of Crap, a what's going on? Fart. They're saying it's it's on Facebook's end. All right, we just lost the Van Halen group. So whoever was watching us in there, we just disappeared. Sorry. <laughs> Ugh. That's man. I know. Can I can I reconnect? Uh, yeah, tell, Randy says I'll tell him Frank Hannon's ne nephew Jason sent. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I commented man. on one of Frank Hannon's posts one time. This was wasn't that long ago either, maybe a few months ago. And part of me was thinking, I wonder if he sees my my name. We'd be like, I wonder if I'm related to that guy. <laughs> you know? I'm an idiot. Sorry. No, he'd be wondering if he wanted something. <laughs> <laughs> he changed his name to my last name. Because... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how many how many kids that I have on the road? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you're watching from the from the Johnny Bean page, though, right? Because I can see your name. The thing with with the with the groups, like let's say like like this. It says Facebook user because when you when you stream to a Facebook group, the people that are watching, if they decide to, to join the chat, they actually have to allow StreamYard permission to see their name and avatar. That's why we can't see this guy's name. Right. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that one on the, on the Saturday night show. Huh? R2R3's uh, name. Richard Fitzwell. <laughs> that's pretty good oh my goodness the chad says open your box um i mean you want me to open it now or do i'm gonna wait till for eight minutes or what what do you think uh we can we can talk about something else okay. dang it i i wanted to be live in the van halen group for this though <sighs> let's get some more thumbs up folks we got 92 watching only just on youtube alone we got 43 thumbs ups Let's let's pump that number up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave leave some thumbs ups. Leave some thumbs up for this. Oh yeah. 
And this is a guitar that will not be going back. <laughs> it is one of Larry. I, I, I think I only showed this Saturday, right? I don't think. Did I show this last Friday? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> so I'm this is one of Larry Mitchell's old guitars. And I even have one of uh, how he used to put his pick in the headstock under the strings. He said he thinks it's a 1991 custom shop Ibanez. It's got a, they sell the X2N, but he used to have them overwind the X2Ns. So they dubbed it the X3N. So it's super high output, super hot pickup. And then, uh, uh, because Dave Nesdal knows a lot about this guitar, more, more than Larry, I think, actually. And he says that he thinks that the two single, co well, not single coils, but the single pickups, because they're the rails, you know, so they're basically humbuckers in a single coil. But he says he thinks that the FS1s, like the, the uh, fast tracks or yeah. something. But they might be custom wound as well. Larry said the only way to tell is if you take the pickups out and look underneath them, if they say Larry Mitchell, which he said this one does because it's, it's a custom wound x2n mm -hmm. like i said it's the x3n but he said if you pop them out they should have his if if his name is under them they were custom wound by steve blucher himself um wow, awesome cool. another cool thing about this is it's obviously like the s series body um but the net the if you'll notice the neck right on these the binding usually goes all the way around well, Larry wanted, I guess, an RG neck on this body. Well, mm -hmm. RG necks were 20, R, R24 fret. So they actually cut an RG neck and put it on this body, which is kind of cool, you know? Awesome. So, yeah. I mean, this guitar, it, it just it feels amazing. It's obviously worn. You know, you can see all the belt rash scratches and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um but it's a super cool guitar and it's, it's nice to own a guitar that, you know, one of my guitar heroes had and played the hell out of. So, yeah, not many people can say that. No. And that, yeah, it, I felt, you know, I, I, I thought of this the other night, but when I was opening the box for this guitar, I literally felt like that, you know, 14 year old kid, like listening to his music with my headphones on, you know what I mean? It was a very weird, weird experience. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but it was very cool. Like I was getting goosebumps and just, I literally felt like I was uh, like 14 or 15 years old again. Mm -hmm. um, the Chad says, why the dislike for 24 fret guitars? I'm assuming he means Larry. I don't know. I think just Larry preferred 22 fret guitars over 24. Um, I prefer 24 frets uh, just because I think it's because I've been playing Ibanez for so long that it just that to me, that's normal. You know, like the first Ibanez I owned was Ibanez uh, RG 760, seven. Yeah, 760. So it was single or hum, single, single or single, single hum, whatever you want to say. And that had 24 frets. Um, and then I literally played Ibanez exclusively until I got like the Wolfgangs and those were 22. And it's, it is easy, I, you know, maybe not easy, but going back and forth, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes when you're looking down, you know what I mean? You're just like, well, that looks longer or that looks a little shorter, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the, that's an issue I had when I had, uh, 24 fret guitars mm -hmm. and yeah, myself, I, I don't play 24 fret guitars. I just, I can't, um, I mean, I can. But it's just, it's not. Yeah. You're used to the 22 fret and, and that fits you. That, yeah, that's fine. Cause I mean, literally how often do you go to that 24th fret? You just bend up from the 22nd fret, you know, to get to the E. So it's not like it's a, uh, it's not attainable. Yeah. I, I never, I never go actually the only, let me think. Yeah. The only 24 fret guitar that I have now is that the, that spirit Steinberger headless guitar, the white one. Mm-hmm. You know, that's 24 frets, I think. And yeah, I never go all the way to there. I do. Ever. Everyone, no, rarely. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> but like I said, it, it's just the thing where if you, you're used to one thing or the other, um, 
you know, if I were to get, let's just say, a custom guitar made for me, it would have 24 frets. And then you got uh, companies like uh, Caparison Guitars make like the 27 fret. Like they'll have, it looks pretty weird. I don't know if I'd be able to get used to it, but it like it has, it goes up to the 24th and then it has like, it goes diagonal. Mm -hmm. So the high frets have that and it, mm -hmm. it's like up to here. But again, with that, you know, <laughs> they have to move the pickup back. And that that's an issue. I know Joe Satriani talked about that a lot when he went to the 24 fret from a 22 fret because his guitars used to have two humbuckers. And he said when, when he went to the 24 fret, they slid the humbucker back. And he said it didn't have the same sound. It just didn't sound right to me. So that's why they developed his, uh, you know, single coil space humbuckers, like the Satch track and things like that. And, you know, had it, you know, where it is up oh, Facebook user lost the feed. So, you know, once you start moving yeah. pickups around and, and things, the tone, the tone <clears throat> changes, you know? Oh, tone. tone. Yeah. I mean, that, that's all. That's all. Here, let, let me tell them. Where are they? Okay. Where where did you say Facebook user? Where are you watching? <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> oh wait, here it is. Here Facebook we are. user is watching on Facebook. On Tinder. Is that Sharon? Sharon. Is that Sharon Wild Wild Dollar? Is that you? It is you. I see you. I see you. Hey Thrash Metal. Sh Sharon, go over go over to Johnny Bean TV on Facebook. Or if you have a YouTube account, jump over to Johnny Bean on YouTube. That's where all the action is, actually. You know? Oh, somebody changed the color change. Where's like the uh, that? Where is it? Like two brain cells. Can you change my neighbor's pool light to orange? Sure. I, I could change it. I can change their pool to yellow. I mean, <laughs> you know. yeah, CK, uh, Larry Mitchell. Um, is who this guitar belonged to. He's one of my guitar heroes. Uh, I literally started playing guitar. I mean, I, I wanted to play guitar, but I never had that moment of like, I want a guitar. So I got this out. My brother got this CD. Um, and this came out in 1990. And it is, in my opinion, like top three instrumental solo guitar albums ever recorded it's my it's top two for me um and it's out he really he re-released it um it's on all the streaming platforms like i i have listened to it on spotify and stuff like that and it literally is just you know it's uh and the thing out one of the things i love about it it's there's i mean it, you can call it a shred guitar album but there's really, I mean, there's only a few moments where it's like total shred. I mean, it's very musical, melodic. There's more guitar melody than anything. Very musical mm -hmm. guitar album. But at the same time, he gets up there on some parts. You know, he he goes after it. And um, Passion of Warfare is is the best um, instrumental guitar record ever. I mean, there's there's no you can't. I don't give a. I don't care who you are. You cannot argue that. <laughs> Even if you don't like it, you can't argue that it's that's the greatest guitar record, uh, solo guitar record ever recorded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't try yeah, to argue with Johnny. You can't. <laughs> it's cool. No, it's cool. I mean, it's just it's not my thing, but it's it's cool. You know, I had it. I had that album when it came out. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know. The next year, Carnal Knowledge came out, and that's all I cared about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know, I know. Oh, now Cameron Brown. <laughs> he said, uh, Erotic cake, Cakes from Guthrie Govan is his number one. Awesome, man. <laughs> um, hmm. The Chad. Uh, you're talking about Larry Mitchell's album? Yeah, he, ha he has it on Bandcamp. Well, it's on That's Spotify. On. Maybe he didn't upload it to Apple Music yet, but it is on Spotify. It's uh, but Spotify pulls from Apple. I don't know. 
so it must be there. I do know it's it's on Bandcamp, and actually Larry would get more from oh, yeah. Bandcamp than he would anywhere else because he sets that price. So get it at Bandcamp because that's his own distributor. Yeah, I know because I've got my music there and. Uh, oh yeah, flying. I I hey, I know all the Satch stuff. I I agree. I'm just I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Are we going to talk about, uh, wait, CK says, are they ever going to talk about Van Halen tonight? Yes. Well, we'll talk about this picture here. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I and wanted to be alive in the Van Halen group for this, but we lost the feed. Thank you, StreamYard. Um, okay, so here, here's, here's a picture right here. Right now. Right there. <laughs> Okay, within my group on Facebook, this group right here, somebody posted part of this picture, and and the the comment section went nuts, saying, "That's not Eddie. That's not Alex." <laughs> they went crazy. Okay, so and again, it was just half the picture. It was just it was just the two Van Halen brothers. You didn't see Sammy, Mike, or that other guy. You know. Um, in the chat, in the chat, watching us, is that Van Halen or is that somebody else? <laughs> I don't understand how anybody could think that that <laughs> isn't them. When you said that to me, I think you messaged me today with that people saying it's not Van Halen, and I'm like, I mean, this the split second. I think Sammy is the one who posted that picture, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the second I saw it, I was like. I have no idea what anybody would think that's not Van Halen. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like a of like a of some sort of filter on on the picture. I don't know if if somebody the thing is you you can run picture well you know this you can run pictures through through uh through Snapchat. Yeah. And get these like really just weird, you know, filters on them, and it kind of changes, you know, the way you look. Yeah. Oh, oh really? Yeah. You know. <laughs> um. But I mean, if anything, here, let, let me let me get a close up. Check this out. Okay. All right. Here, I'm, I'm gonna take this down for a sec. Okay. If anything, you know that picture is ran through a filter. Okay. Because that can't be that guy's real face. <laughs> that guy in the back. Okay? That can't be. <laughs> oh, my God. That can't be. That can't be. So it's a filter, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, people are saying that's not Eddie. That's obviously a filter that, that's on there. Wow, that's him. look at that. That's, that's him, but it's, it's a filter. Yeah. You know? Now and now now you're freaking me out, man. Am I, is this even real? But that's definitely that's you know. Now it's bringing back. Somebody sent me a thing last night. <laughs> yeah, Sammy with no mouth. <laughs> Somebody sent me a thing last night. It's like you think you're not living in the Matrix. When was have you ever seen your neighbors bringing in the groceries? And I'm like, oh my god, I've never seen my neighbors bring in groceries before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're watching you. <laughs> yeah. He's bringing in his groceries again. <laughs> Man. Um, I yeah, don't know who... The dude on the far the far left? On their right. I'm not sure who that is. I'm well, assuming... Huh? He's probably... It looks like they're doing a Q&A. They're obviously doing a Q&A. So they probably have somebody up there. To maybe, you know, whether it's a translator or somebody to maybe get the questions or, or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, this picture is from the grand opening of the Cabo Abo. Like their very first time there. That's that's when this was. Mm -hmm. So all the press they did, because I remember seeing clips from this all over MTV. Um, so this this is all for, for, uh, for, for the press, talking about the club, talking about the reason they opened the club. Blah 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 blah. 
you know. <laughs> so that guy sitting next to Mike, you know, that he's probably he's probably, you know, from the club from uh of like 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 Jay like you were saying, maybe translating, you know. Who knows? But the main point of this picture is yes, that is Van Halen, and it's just a, a somebody used a weird filter on it, and that's mm -hmm. why it looks like that. But when you zoomed in on Eddie, I was like, oh my god, that that looks really weird, you know. But it's definitely them. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, yeah, it's like it's like you, huh? Is is that Richie Blackmore? <whistles> no, nah. who's screaming? You hear, oh you hear that? Oh my god, she oh she's been out of control today like looney tunes man oh my god <laughs> now a motorcycle is going crazy outside what is happening told you i'm in the okay. matrix <clears throat> all right i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys okay on snapchat i mean it has all these different filters where you can just kind of change you know like here i'll give you Actually, that could be me. Dude, somebody put a filter on the um, Live Without a Net video. It's almost like it smooths everything out and kind of like, you know, changes the contrast on some things and really kind of... <laughs> yeah, uh, that's normal. What are you talking about? No <laughs> yeah, filter. I know. That's normal. Yeah. That's just, you know, later on. Yeah. Um... <laughs> At least on 10 pounds of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, she's not getting Bust, any of these. These are mine. Busted into that. Yeah. Yeah. I want a margarita uh, now, man. Damn. Seeing that pic. Look at those things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that Cabo Wabo tequila is good. It is good. And now, now Sammy's got that um, Santo, which I have a empty bottle back there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. I, I like that even better. It's back there. I dig it. And see, you you, you can put you you can put filters on on pictures, and so like now that guy in the back has the beard <laughs> and the hat. Johnny was there. <laughs> Whoa! Right, Ned. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Ted Sanchez is here. He goes, Jay. Had a tech work on my internet connection today. Started typing in a website <laughs> for net speed test. His favorites popped up and Brazzers was in the top five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, man. That's pretty good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Yes. So anyway, that is a real picture. That really is them. End of end of story for that. Shall um, we? Oh, <laughs> unboxing. We got 55. I can't drive 55 right now. Thumbs up. So that's good. I see three fives. So do I. <laughs> All the guys, three fives. All right. So this is from Winnie Lou. And a, a big to do happened. Let's let's just let's just get into this, Johnny. A big to do happened on Saturday night, this past Saturday, Saturday, where I mentioned what's in here. All right. I mentioned whatever. And next thing you know, a little later on in the show, I guess I missed Linny Lou saying that she had one and she would send one to me, but I didn't see it. Now Anybody that watches these shows, the Friday night show, this one, this is me, right? This is me. Nothing crazy going on. This is how I usually am. Saturday mm -hmm. night, I get a little crazy, all right? <laughs> I may, uh, you know, I don't want to tell anybody exactly, but, you know, may get wild a little bit, may get, you know, whatever. So I apologize if I miss some stuff in the chat on the Saturday nights because I'm not all here if you know what I'm saying. Mm. So anyway, I didn't see that she was saying, Jay, you idiot. I have one if you want it. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> so Winnie Lou was kind enough to send this to me. 
So we'll do the unboxing. And I'm I'm kind of I'm really excited for this because uh, I've wanted one for a while. Do I know how to, how to cut open a box? Jesus. <laughs> Jeff Davidson, that's awesome, man. Yeah, being the crazy mofo that I am, <laughs> I got to get an I eat them raw shirt. All right, she, so we got a power supply. She wants you to smell it. <laughs> I mean, do I do I really want to smell it? Where was that plugged into? It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why is this? No, I'm joking. Oh my goodness, everybody! Dinner! Oh wow! Yes! I can't reach my applause button. I've got a cat in my lap. Would you look at that, folks? Linny Lou was super kind enough to send me her Rockman. And these things, I mean, when did they make these things, dude? Um, is there a date on here anywhere? No, but early, these were like in the early. 80s, right? Yeah. I remember seeing these like oh. when you go into a, to a guitar store. Smell it. I'm not smelling. What is what's this smell <laughs> stuff? Smell the battery. Do I should I wash my hands? <laughs> should I should I send this back to you? Like, what is going on? So um I mean, I remember seeing these things in the, uh, like the, the, what are they called? The display cases at the register, you know, mm -hmm. with the pickups and stuff like that. These things would be under there. And I wish, obviously, I wish I would have got one back then, but, uh, so maybe by tomorrow night, I'll have this thing set up and, uh, you know, I'll try to play a little bit if, if my, if my fingers work, if I don't smell it too much first, Lenny. Got the belt clip walking around the house with it, you know. <laughs> so I need if anybody has a battery cover, that's the only thing it's, it's it smells like oh, okay. Oh yeah, inside the battery cover, it, it battery uh thing it does. But it, it tastes like like eight uh double A's. Yeah, eight double A's. Wow. Okay, so you Without the cover, you, it won't work. Yeah, well, I have the well, obviously the power supply, but yeah, without okay. the um, without the battery cover, you can't have it uh, battery powered. Mm -hmm. So you can't walk around with it. Nope, unless I get a big long extension cord <laughs> around the big yellow orange extension cord around the house. <laughs> Super cool, man, Lenny. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. I really appreciate that. Everybody, give it up for Winnie Lou in the chat. And Mary. And Mary. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, Winnie Lou. Oh, that's cool. You can, there's auxiliary input too. That's cool. So you can plug your Walkman into your Rockman. <laughs> And walk around, man. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Lenny, super cool of you. Thank you. I put this anywhere so it shows up? No, of course not. All right, I got to go. I'm going to play with this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll mess with it tonight after I uh, get the little pumpkin to bed. Awesome. Hey, the battery cover's in here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, there's okay. chocolate color covered... Uh... Hey, cashews in here. Hey, maybe if I throw enough uh, chocolate cashews in here, it'll power itself. <laughs> yes, it will sound like Boston. Exactly. Or, if anybody's <laughs> listened to it, I'm sure you have, Hysteria from Def Leppard, that thing's all over the album. Like, the, the clean tones on Hysteria. Mm -hmm. Listen to the beginning of this, the title track, Hysteria. That's coming out of this thing. Like, the clean sounds are awesome and even the distorted sounds like they're very unique and it just has that 80s vibe to it and i i love anybody that knows me i love um 80s rock you know and, and this type 80s like 
that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> wow. So I'm pumped, man. This is a good day. Awesome. Got awesome. 30 pounds of cashews yesterday. Got a Rockman today. I mean, come on. <laughs> Does it get any better? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. We got Rockman's. Uh, let's see. Let's, okay. I've. What do you want to talk about next? Do you want to talk about Steve Ripley or the wildlife? Um, Ripley. Okay. All right. Let me, let me find it. Let me find that. Yesterday. Am I logged in? Am I, am I logged in? Please, please. Okay. Here I am. Okay. Where's my history? Okay. Yes. Yesterday. Man, I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all do you ever go back in your history on youtube like you you think about a video you watched like a couple days ago and you're scrolling like through thousands of videos to try to go back get back to it well me it's it, it's 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 uh you know we have like you know the kids videos and super simple songs and stuff like that during the day so now i, have, I even have to go farther in, back in your account yeah yeah yep oh no why what's that what's wrong with that well, that just means when you go when your homepage, it's nothing but but stuff, you know, that you didn't watch. You know what's weird though? Is I think it, it depends on what device you're on because when when I'm on my computer, my Mac right here, right? I don't mm -hmm. see any suggested videos of like for like super simple songs or, or kids learning videos. But on my PlayStation, that's where that stuff gets played. So I think it it's like uh which we call it device dependent or whatever it's called like that, or you know what I mean? So like down there, Maybe. down there, I don't get as much like, you know, music stuff as up here and the exact opposite. So, uh, man, but Hey, it'd be weird if I was looking for uh, kids videos up here, right? <laughs> well, call the cops. Uh, my, I'm not logged in. Dang it. Okay, so I'll just tell you guys. What well, do you want to talk about the wildlife first then? Well, no, I've got it. I've got it. Um, yesterday, oh, thank you to Greg Renoff. Actually, Greg Renoff is the one that he tags me in like everything, like all the time. Like, you know, if there's any, if there's a question about, hey, what was this about? You know, he tags me and Nerd Halen all the time. And, mm -hmm. and you know, nine times out of 10, we have the answer for whatever it is. Um, but anyway, yesterday, Greg runoff, he tagged me on Twitter, alerting me to a, uh, to a, a YouTube premiere that was going to happen yesterday at eight Eastern. Um, and it was a musical tribute to Steve Ripley. And if you guys don't know, Steve Ripley, he, he, he was, uh, well, you guys would know him from, uh, Van Halen played this guitar called the Kramer Ripley. Then there was the regular, the super Pluto Ripley um, on a song called top Jimmy mm -hmm. where, where you, you listen with headphones, you hear the strings go back and forth between the two. That, that was the, the stereo effect of the, of the Ripley system. The guy that invented that guitar, Steve Ripley, um, he, he passed away two years ago, three years ago. We actually did a, a tribute for him on the channel here. Um, but anyway, uh, he, he lived, he was from Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, I think. And the Oklahoma Historical Society did a, a tribute video for him yesterday. And uh, they had a, a band called the, the Red Dirt Rangers perform songs. Um, that, that Steve had co-written, co-written, co-written with them. And it was cool. It was a great video. They did mention Eddie Van Halen's name in the video that Steve had worked with him. Um, but if you guys want to check it out, actually, I put it on my Facebook page. If we're friends on Facebook, you'll see it. Um, 
or actually uh i'll put a, i'll put a link to it in the description of this video once once we're done um or i'll just i'll put a card where are we at 115 okay at 115 let me uh there we go in one hour 15 minutes ripley all right so there'll be a drop down card right by that subscribe button up there and I'll, I'll include this video and you guys should definitely check it out if you want to if you want to see some interviews with steve you know stuff that was done um he was a really really cool dude and he used to message me all the time um he would send me pictures of, of ripley's and like this this van halen uh ripley that he had um actually that that one guitar actually that that one that one uh let's see where's my brands that one here we got to go over to this one that's going to change that one uh huh matthew EVA tried to make a ripley version for a wolfgang yeah that'd be cool that would definitely be cool um okay so you guys remember remember this guitar here we had talked about this this guitar yep this was an auction guitar we nobody knows where it came from the ripley's actually said said they had told me that they didn't think steve had anything to do with this, this guitar but the actual guitar is that has picture? anything happened hold on is anything developed with that because the auction's over and somebody I bought it for what was it 50 grand i haven't looked do you imagine spending 50 grand on the i mean you know i wish i had that much money to drop on a freaking guitar but imagine imagine dropping 50k on something 50k and then all of a sudden you find out that <laughs> just some joe schmo made it and, and said it was you know yeah like holy cow yeah we'll we'll have to look into that or somebody yeah. somebody look into that and let us john know biel. john biel but anyway the actual guitar was was this one so anyway, that was that was a guitar that Steve Ripley had had, had built for Eddie, it, but it wasn't a Ripley like guitar. Whereas you know there had the Ripley system in it, it was just a regular guitar and just had a you know a Ripley you know Ripley neck. Um, anyway, anyway, um, uh, Steve had sent me pictures over the years, like not that one, but like Steve had sent me like this one here. You know that one and this one. You know pictures from his, you know his workbench. You know working on that guitar. Uh, so anyway, anyway, Steve, he was awesome. And uh, actually, I'll put two videos up on playback. There'll be this video to the tribute from the Red Dirt Rangers, and then the tribute that we did on the channel here, right after Steve had passed away. Let's see, so one eighteen. I put that. All right. If I can read my own handwriting, I'll, I'll remember what that says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but okay. All right. So there was there was that. So make sure to to check that out because that's very cool. And then how are we doing on time? We got about half an hour left. Yeah. Roughly. Okay. All right, and we're going to be out of here exactly at 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 the top of the uh, the hour because we're doing a uh, a premiere, and all you have to do is is just stay here, and you'll automatically be transported to that to that premiere. And it, it's not it's not too long. It's maybe a three minutes. It's a three minute video. Um, but let's see how many how many thumbs and how many views we can get on that video tonight. Uh, all right, so we got that, and then you want to talk about wildlife, or do do you have? Do I have what? Do you have something? Do you have cashews? <laughs> just just a few, just a few pounds. <laughs> Oh man, so good, so mm. good. You know how hard it is. Last night I was up here playing guitar and and goofing off. You know how bad I wanted to go downstairs and grab that box and bring the whole thing up here, and just gain five pounds in like an hour, but I didn't. 
man. You go to get up from the chair and you're like noticing like, oh. Wait, wait a minute. I, I'm stuck to it. <laughs> yeah, I stand up and it's like, oh, this, this chair is heavier than I am. I, I'm going to hurt my back doing that. Never mind. Jesus. I'm rolling over my damn guitar cables. Hey, Bozik. Hey, now. Hey, man. Oh, he can't okay. stay. He has more important things to do. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so we're we're gonna go another another half an hour. Um, are there any questions in the in in the chat? Let's let's answer some stuff in the chat, and then we'll talk about the wildlife. Okay. Um, <clears throat> because that's it's it's a. Uh, very cool news if, if you're a fan of that movie, if you know what, what I'm talking about. But uh, I can get this thing to plug in real fast, man. This let is, us know if you have any questions or, or, or comments or comments or complaints. <clears throat> okay. Who would complain? What anybody complain about? Nah, it's the internet. Okay, I want to make sure I'm plugging stuff into the right thing here. Oop, that's the wrong hole. <laughs> Let's see. All right, Mark has a question for you. Oh, for me, huh? What are Jay's favorite '80s bands? <clears throat> oh God, well, obviously, well, I guess we really can't say Van Halen's an '80s band, so. uh Metallica is probably well they yeah Metallica um man there's a million of them I just can't think I'm not blanking out right now um I listen to uh Def Leppard a lot High and Dry Pyromania Hysteria and then mm -hmm. a, like two songs off of uh what is it, Adrenalize, or what was the one that came out with, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get rock. It's like, come on. You know, I was I was done with that. <laughs> um, uh, man, it's it's so hard. But, yeah, Metallica, Anthrax. Anthrax is, is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Queensryche, thank you, Rick Green. Rat, I like Rat. I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself like a huge Rat fan, even though uh, th those those two albums, what Out of the Cellar and uh, what was the other one? Uh, invasion of, of Privacy, right? Invasion of Privacy, Invasion of Your Privacy, whatever it's called. Those those two are amazing. Um, yeah, Megadeth. I mean, you guys can keep going. No, I'm not a. You know, I'm not a very big Dokken fan. I think. Wicked Sensation from Lynch Mob, cover to cover, blows every single Dokken record away. Like, it's not even close, in my opinion. Because I feel like Dokken, it's sound, it has that that kind of 80s, you know, like, I don't know. I just feel, I don't want to rip on Dokken right now, but when I listen to Dokken, like, it has that, <laughs> it has a little bit of that, of that cheese 80s sound. You know what I mean? Lynch I Mob, would... Go ahead, go ahead. I would do best not Tuesday. I would think everything Dawkins has done sounds 80s. Mm -hmm. Everything. Even the stuff, if they put out new stuff tonight, to, tonight, if they put out a record tonight, <laughs> it would sound the like 80s because that's their sound. That's their, their genre of music. You know, no, if they yeah, automatic, I, I, if you know what I mean? If I, if they if they did anything. Other than that, their their fans would go go crazy. Oh yeah, and and I'm I'm cool with that too because I wasn't a fan of a lot of these bands that when like grunge hit, you know, some of these bands that that you know '80s bands, they kind of like tried to get a little more edgy, and you know, raw sounding, and they not put on as, a like, flannel shirt. Yeah, not as produced and not, and I feel like, to me, I didn't like it because number one you're alienating your fans. The people that are fans of you want to hear that type of music. And the grunge fans, all of a sudden, they're not going to be fans of, you know, the Bullet Boys just because all of a sudden they put out 
you know, a hard rock or a, a grunge record. Like it, it's not going to happen. So th mm. that's where I think a lot of those bands screwed up, you know, like Queensryche, for instance. Um, when they put out Here in the Now Frontier, and it was intentional, like they, they went to uh, somebody from Pearl Jam's studio to record it. It was very stripped down and dry. And it, it's like, I don't want to hear Queensryche play <laughs> stripped down <laughs> rock. I want to hear Queensryche sound like Queensryche. Mm -hmm. And that's where they effed up. A lot of those bands effed up when it, when it got into grunge, man. You know? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there, there is a point where you can, you can adapt to something, but, but if, if, if you're just, if you're just like a great rock band, let's say Van Halen, let's say the Rolling Stones, yep. you know, anything like that, their stuff is timeless. And they they can go on, excuse me. They can go on and 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 still be who who they are, around whatever the new scene, fad, whatever the new fad, fad or, or yeah, pop, pop, you know, whatever the new thing is, they can still be themselves, be because there's nothing. Well, Eddie had said this in interviews. There was no fad about what they did. Yeah. They just did their own thing. They had their own sound. And and obviously, like you've mentioned before, like like obviously 5150 has that type of era sound to it. You know, obviously with the electronic, you know, the toms and the kick the drum. Production. The production has, you know, the very chorus, you know, guitars and stuff like that. But it still sounds like Van Halen. They weren't trying to be something else. They were, you know, maybe as far as the recording technology kind of you know doing what was you know mm -hmm. in then mm -hmm. um and i was gonna go somewhere else with this too but uh <laughs> no like and i know i know you're not a rush fan johnny but rush is one of those bands that all through their career right like they ch kind of changed with the times a little bit like in the mid 80s and late 80s they were doing the more poppier kind of like with a, the heavy keyboards and stuff but it still ah. sounded like it still sounded like rush I'm still and, here. I just have to get my camera on. Yeah, we're talking about Rush, so Johnny's out of here. But no, <laughs> there, but there are some bands that sound so unique where they can kind of change a little bit, you know, to kind of go along with what's happening, but still sound like them and not alienate their fans. Um, but I mean, I, I understand why it was complicated when, you know, because glam metal to grunge is like total opposite ends of the spectrum. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, so I get why a lot of these bands were trying to like, you know, get a little edge to their image, you know, so I get it, but the music still, the music, I mean, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it, I, I could just imagine, I couldn't imagine being one of those bands like Warrant, right? They said something like when they released like Cherry Pie, you know, when you walked into uh oh, what label were they under? Oh my God. I just, I was just talking about this the other night with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Allison Change is on the same label. Um, Tell me out. Somebody's somebody's gonna know it in the chat. I want I want to say Capital or, or or might have been Capital. Okay. I think you're right. So they said that know. uh, it actually doesn't matter. They're, they're yeah, not with them anymore. <laughs> Columbia, there you go. Columbia Records. All right, Columbia. <laughs> Close enough. So anyway, Janie Lane, I guess years ago, talked about when they went when when Cherry Pie was huge. They walked into the into mm -hmm. Columbia Records, and you know, right over the on the huge wall behind the secretary. As soon as you walk into the building, huge cherry pie thing, and they were just treated like kings. And all of a sudden, Alice in Chains' "Dirt" came out, and next thing you know, he walked in there, huge Alice in Chains, and he knew like instantly, like, all right, we're not the uh, the main focus anymore. We're not a, we're not the priority, and uh, and and he knew it was over. Yeah, he knew it was over. Over. Yep. Over. Over. You can't, you know, yep. hate to say it, but their their music, I hate to say this, but I'm say gonna it, say Johnny. it. But their their music, good. their music became a joke yeah. at that point. And and nobody was going to those shows. Nobody. You know? It was just it was done. Yeah. That like, that style of music was just done. 
the rug got pulled right out from under him. And and Winger, Kip Winger talked about that too. He said that, you know, when that third album came out, Pull, which is an amazing record. I mean, Jesus, right? Um, they said when they they started the tour for the record, places selling out, everything was fine. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, Stuart from Beavis and Butthead wore a goddamn <laughs> winger shirt. And he said literally within like the next day, like nobody was going to their shows anymore. Yeah. I mean, literally, Stuart literally killed Winger. <laughs> what a, the uncool kid. Wears and Stuart, shirt. and he was a fan of the band, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't think he was wearing that shirt because he didn't like him. I think. Well, but you know, Stuart, Stuart was the loser did, kid. Like the door. Did they kid. make fun of him for wearing that shirt? Yes. Do, do you remember? Yes. Okay. I don't remember, but man, that, that show did a lot. MTV really. <laughs> I know, man. I don't know. <laughs> but it's just a lot of it too is is uh you know the difference America um you know we're we are very trendy with as as far as music goes in America. Like for instance, Mr. Big, right? Once grunge hit, Mr. Big in America was like, oh Mr. Big, you know, you know. Well, they still would sell out when they go to Japan, they're selling out arenas in Japan. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. they go other places and, and they, they're selling out where in America, we're so worried about what, what the hip thing is in not only music, but anything, you know, clothes, style, anything, haircuts, you know? So it's, it's, we're a very trendy co- uh, country when it comes to anything. So once you're out, you're done. But some bands like Van Halen, they can, uh, tra- was it transcend genre? Uh, not genres, but uh, um, different eras of music. Like, uh, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Van ha- Van Halen's timeless. Yep, timeless. You know, nobody wh- nobody sounds like Van Halen. Whether you're a fan of the early stuff, you know, the Roth years, the Hagar years, you know, even the the Sharon the Sharon y- year. <laughs> Literally, that was a year. Yeah, I really, know. if you think I about know. it. Um, well, I mean, the, when the record came out in '98, and then they toured until '99. But actually, Sharon was with them, I think, in '97. I think yeah, is when I they think actually so. actually did, actually did all that. Um, it's thank you, Crazy Cook. It's uh, oh, and Stephen Franklin. Thank you, thank you, man. Um, there's just something about just just great you know rock you know rock music you know van halen the rolling stones um who else what uh metallica (laughs) i know you you're not a huge metal guy but well metallica metallica is one of those bands that they till this to this day they still they'll sell out anywhere they go Mm -hmm. worldwide doesn't matter where they go Mm -hmm. am i echoing no am i Echo. Echo. Yeah, I am. Um, it's okay. We're almost done. Um no, no, there's 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 bands out there that 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 just uh they can do whatever it is and yep. it's that's Maybe who they are. Deployed. Yep. And people people love them. People love them. Yeah. But that's the I mean those bands, every band that we name that that does that, like the multi-generational band. I mean, you know it's them the moment. You don't even have to hear a full second of music from any of their records. You know it's them. Right off the bat, there's mm-hmm. no ifs, ands, or booties about it. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's true. I mean, it, it, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even just a brand new brand new song. I, I remember waking up. I, I remember uh, my, my alarm clock. I used to have one of those alarm uh, cassette yeah. <laughs> players. And so I could set it to wake up to like a tape, mm-hmm. a cassette, so I could wake up to whatever I wanted or wake up to the radio. And most of the time, I just had it in between stations on, on just blasted. So I know exactly. So it goes off. It's like, you know, and like you have I, to like, get up. You have to get up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because if you put it on onto like a, a, a song you like, next thing you know, you fall back asleep and you're you're at a concert and they're playing the song you're, and you're, you're dreaming it. You know, you're like, oh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I do remember my alarm clock went off one time, and I'm laying there, 
and and this was probably the debut actually because it was early in the morning of of um it it was one of the songs off uh off van halen best of volume one one of those two new ones Were probably me live sing? magic then it would have been me yeah, yeah it yeah, was that was the yeah that was a single so so i'm i'm sleeping Miwai's magic comes on is pops on to my uh my alarm clock, you know, and I'm la- I'm laying there and you know you're you're still like half dreaming, right? Yep. And so I'm laying there and and I I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm listening to it. And and uh, I'm like dreaming that I'm listening to like a new Van Halen song, right? And it and was then, Van and, Halen. And then that's when you realize, wait a minute. I'm actually hearing this and this is brand new Van Halen. Can't believe it. <laughs> You know, and it's David Lee Roth. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yep. And so I remember hearing that and I was like, whoa. And then of course the ending is all the all the uh, sustainer stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? No, 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 no. And like all the the uh su- sustain stuff. And um, so I'm listening to that and I'm like, wow. And then oh man, and this was how did I Somehow I, I waited until they played it again, or I called the station <laughs> before you got out of bed. And I'm like, play that again. And I taped it. Mm-hmm. So I had a, a copy of it. Right. Yeah. And then I, I remember going to a, I, a band rehearsal at Soundwave Studios in, in Oakland, California. And actually, I just saw who was it? Was it, was it Skolnick? Was it on Twitter? Alex Skolnick was talking about how he, he went to rehearsals at Soundwave. You know, we all rehearsed at the same place. That's how we know each other is all this. Um, I forget what he was talking about. Something about. Uh, uh, anyway, I, I remember uh, going to, to band practice. And then once we were done saying, hey, to the other guys, I'm like, hey, did you guys hear the new Van Halen? They're like, no. Nope. So the I car. had. Get so the car. I used to I used to record every rehearsal on a Tascam four track. I would drag a four track cassette, you know, this huge to mm-hmm. every rehearsal, set it up, have PZM mics on the drums, and then a SM58, no, 57 on my 5150 uh, half stack. Yep. And then another SM58 or 57, either direct for the singer or or right in front of the PA speaker. You know, so I'd record every rehearsal. So at the end of the of the practice, I had my cassette. I had the cassette player. So I remember hooking my my cassette player into my fifty one fifty clean channel, blasting. We still had the room for another ten minutes, right? This is when you had to, when it was hourly. So we still had ten more minutes while we cleaned up. So I'm blasting. Can't get this now. Me wise magic. And this is the day it came out, right? Oh, yeah. And I, I, I remember, I remember exactly listening to it, and the other guys being like, "Wow, this is this is awesome," you know. But you see the difference between when we grew up listening to music, and obviously the generations before us as well, to now. Like a new song comes out from a band now, no one. I mean, obviously, if it's a band we love, we're going to listen to it. But it's not like a huge experience that we remember. Like you remember that experience, well, you know, and yeah. it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it was a, a super, I remember all of very it. special thing to you. I remember all of it. Yeah. 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 I can, t- I can tell you guys exactly. I'm not going to do it now because we're running out of time, but I can tell you exactly every time I heard a Van Halen record for the first time or a Van Halen song for the first time, I can tell you exactly. I remember. I, I remember exactly. Metal yeah. The Radio Shack PZMs. That's right. Hit Metal Works. That's what I had. There you go. I st- actually, I still have them. <laughs> yeah, the first time I, he- I heard uh, Miwai's Magic, I was working at, um, it was Orange County Pools in New Windsor, New York. And I was mm-hmm. behind the counter and we had the radio on all over, the, you know, we had speakers and stuff in, in the attic or the, uh, you know, in the ceiling. Mm-hmm. And it came on and I was like, just sitting there. And it was one of those things, like, I didn't want to help anybody, you know, because I was sitting there listening to the new Van Halen song. But that's the thing. Like we remember that that stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now there's none of that because 
it's all from Facebook or, or it's all on the internet and you're scrolling through your feed, wherever you are, you see it, you know, you listen to a few seconds of it. Yeah. You're nay. And you're on to the next thing you're yeah. reading, whatever it is that that's why it's unbelievable. You know, you scroll through Facebook and, or wherever you are, Twitter, and there, you just, you cause you consume just so much information like so quickly now, how do you remember any of it? You know, and, or, and we all know, I mean, as you get older and stuff and you know, life, I don't want to say gets in the way, but you know, when you're a kid, you know, it was just, it was just different, you know, mm -hmm. next thing you know, your uh, music turns into, you know, I don't want to say background music, but I mean, you know, we talked about a million times, you know, buying a, a CD or a tape when I was a kid, I literally go into my bedroom, close the door and sit on my bed, put the CD on or the tape and just stare at, at the liner notes, the artwork, read the lyrics, read the thank yous and just take the thing in like, and just give it my undivided attention and, and almost like lose yourself in it. And now mm -hmm. you, a new album comes out and it's like, okay, put it on the Bluetooth, you know, and obviously with the kids around, I can't just, you know, Hey, you, <laughs> Ellie watch Killian for, for 45 <laughs> minutes. I'm going to go upstairs and listen to this new album. I can't do that. Yeah. You know? So yeah, for, for you, for you, it's different for me. Yeah. You know, I don't have that, but, but it's, it's not, um, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same, but, but, uh, for, for, for me, you know, I, I can have the experience, but I might be driving. Yeah. You know, cause I drive a couple hours each way. Yeah. But know. driving's great for that too, man. You know, you can really, yeah. uh, yeah. You know. And speaking of that, I rediscovered how much time we got. We got some time. Yeah. 10 minutes. Okay. I rediscovered Van Halen's diver down this week. You know, I hadn't heard it for years. Like, like I listened to the entire record from beginning to end while driving i hadn't listened to that well, record well, yeah was it a short drive like 34 minutes right that's all that's all uh, no no it's like it's like a two-hour drive each way no what i'm saying right. is, is that the album i think diver oh. down isn't like 34 or something minutes right yeah it's pretty yeah. short yeah yeah but knowing me you know I, I have extras you know i have bonus you know stuff mm -hmm. you know within my ipod you know, so I don't have, I don't just have Diver Down. I have all the instrumental tracks, everything that was from Guitar Hero mm. related to that as well. So I can listen to Michael Anthony playing the bass line to Little Guitars by himself if I want, right? Or uh, the, the, the 45 uh, single to Secrets that mm. had the extra synthesizers on it, you know, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, the full bug is brilliant. Yeah, Cobra Kai. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I hadn't heard that in a lot of years, you know, from beginning to end. And uh, it, it was definitely, you know, it took me right back to to those days of, of listening. You know, Diver Down, I first bought on vinyl. And wow. I first learned to Purdue Woman on vinyl. You know, I'd have to tune my guitar up <laughs> a little bit <laughs> yeah, to play along with it. <laughs> But it took me right back to, to, uh, to, to those days, you know, listening to that. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it was cool. It's just, it I'm, was... I'm sure everybody in the chat right now is like, wait a minute, Johnny hasn't listened to Diver Down in a long time. Like, and you've said this before, people, you know, well, I understand it because when you told me that I was thinking the same thing, but you know, we got a, a, a pretty much Van Halen show when you say that somebody when you say that you really don't listen to van halen 24 hours a day there are people like what wait a minute mm -hmm. johnny johnny only listens to van halen you know some people probably think that yeah no the truth is i i don't i haven't heard regular albums from start to finish in years but you know being you know who i am you know the collector that i am you know, I have all kinds of bizarre stuff that I, that I listen to, mm -hmm. you know, and Wayno. Yeah. Wayno, you were there, man. You, you, you had tweeted, uh, where have all the good times gone? And that's when I had said that I, I just listened to that. 
And he talks about Alex's rim shot in the solo. There, there's like there's there's uh some sort of some sort of something. You, you'd mentioned that I, I, on Twitter. We were talking about that after the second set of symbol joke jokes. There's like a rim shot. Is is it is it out of time, or is it you know he didn't mean to uh, hit the rim? Is that what he's saying? Wayno, no. if you ha- if you again. if you have that song on CD, if you can if you can send me send me the the timestamp of of uh, of where that is or like right before it, I'll I'll definitely have to there it have is to, have to check that out. Oh, he uh-huh. says on a snare beat, he totally misses the snare head. Yeah, the, I'm sure when you listen to it, be like, oh yeah yeah yeah, I know that. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of those on um, those older, not just Van Halen, but you know, a lot of that older stuff when they didn't have Pro Tools to literally punch in and fix everything. They were on a lot of this stuff in one take, you know, and the band's playing along. It's like, all right, well, you, you didn't hit the snare that hard on one hit. All right, well, mm-hmm. screw it, leave it. You know, there's um, and there's bleed, there's bleed. Oh. So, you, so those those you know, individual tracks, you know, you hear stuff. Yep. From the other, everything <laughs> gets gets mixed up. Yes, you know, there's actually in the uh, in the song twenty one twelve. Speaking of Rush, there's a part later in the song. I'm trying to think when it is. I'd have to go listen to it again. But there's a part where, literally, for like a, a bar or two, there's no kick drum. Mm-hmm. If you listen to it, all of a sudden the kick drum disappears. And then it comes back in. And I've always wondered what happened. You know, did he like flub a part so bad? They're like, well, we can't punch it. So guess what? We'll just mute the kick mic for, you know, the five seconds or seven seconds. And then we'll we'll put it back in. I've always wondered what what happened. Um, so do brain cells. See you later, man. Bye. By the way, w- I'm sending you guys off to to see a, a premiere of a little video that I did at Guitar Center right after this, so don't split just yet. Um, actually, two minutes after uh, the top of the hour. So let's say we're about five. Let's see four. So in about six minutes, you guys. Well, actually, four minutes. You'll be sent to another. Well, five minutes. Jesus, you, John. <laughs> you guys will be sent to another video. No, because YouTube has the premieres give you a two minute warning, so the video actually starts two minutes afterwards. Um, okay, so real quickly, let, let me talk about the wildlife here. Oh, that's right, crap. I want to. Uh, I'm just going to show you the, the the picture or the. Uh... All right, Steve Anderson sent this to me a few years ago. Thank you again, Steve Anderson. Stevo, Steve Arenos. This, this is the movie, The Wildlife, and this is like a bootleg. You know, it wasn't officially on DVD. Until now, until now, that's what we're going to talk about. Um, anyway, if you guys know this movie, it's it's uh, it's amazing. I just watched it for the first time the other night. Well, after years and years and years, I grew up on this film, but it was great to see it. Um, anyway, Edward Van Halen does the entire instrumental soundtrack in the film, you know, and that's where we got songs like like right now, uh, AFU. Um, uh, blood and fire, uh, uh, doing not, not, not doing time, uh, uh, off balance, strung out, strung out is actually from the wildlife. That's where the actual music came from. Uh, a lot, a lot, lot of stuff. Anyway, this was just released on Blu-ray, like an official, official version of this. And I'll read you guys. Let's see. Uh, it was just released, and uh, it was directed by Art Linson and Cameron Crow. And of course, it stars Christopher Penn, Eric Stoltz, who you know was the original Marty McFly, Leah Thompson, who was uh, his mom in Back to the Future, Jenny Wright. Uh, and then, uh, what's his name? The guy from Weird Science. Is it Ian? 
Ian Michael Smith. The other guy from Weird Science. You know, that guy right there. Anyway, it's on it's on Blu-ray, so check it out. Uh, I think it still has uh, the the original score to it, so so all the Eddie Eddie stuff should be there, I think. But if you guys uh, if you have it already or in the comments below, let me know. Let me know what you think of it. All right, all right, we're 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 gonna jump out, but. Th thank you everybody and again don't don't go anywhere i'm going to send you guys off to a premiere and it's just it's just a short quick little video but i'd like to get some some thumbs ups over there and some views over there um and that starts in about uh two minutes so stay tuned and we're going to say thank you thank you to our channel members Thank you so much for all your all your support and and uh, and just just watching, you know, just just being here for us is is incredible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. It is. And we've said I know we gotta go, but we've said this before. We have a we really do have a great community of people who uh who watch this and hang out and you know it's it's I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm glad you're a part of it. I'm glad to be a part of it, and we are out of here. So watch this, this, uh, watch this outro, and then you'll be magically transported to the next video. Or click the screen; you'll see it. You'll see it. It's fifty one fifty series uh, guitar. All right. See you tomorrow night. Bye, Johnny Bean TV.